And so you're right, when, when it comes to creating a playlist for a defensive center midfielder, we have to make sure that we showcase all of those. And a, and a lot of players that would send me highlight tapes or videos or YouTube channel links, they would show like 10 moments of the exact same thing, especially from the defensive midfielder. Like they'd show 10 moments of this player just knocking a ball in behind, which is, which is great. And, and, and that's a really necessary skill, but you also need to have a little bit of balance. And so for me, that this defensive center midfielder reading the game is really important. What decisions are you making as we're building out of the back? What decisions are you making when the other team is countering? What decisions are you making when you're trying to overload out wide? All those things. The other aspect, and that's kind of why I brought up the center backs, is we think that the number six has got to be this real hard get into tackles, you know, that type of kind of destructive type of center uh, defensive center midfield. And that's not the case. If you're able to read the play, intercept balls, begin possession, begin the top, uh, begin the counter, that's, that's ideal. And those are great moments to showcase because they focus right back on that intelligence. So your ability, defensive center, mil the defensive center midfielders ability to regain possession in one V one, not just tackle and lose it, but let's play out of that tackle. The other thing is that I think the spatial awareness, anticipating where the space is when we're building out, where that space is to close down and anticipate in order to regain possession are, are extremely important. And then it's, as I mentioned, it's the, the balancing, the long range and short range distribution, when to play short, when to play, when to play long. And then it's the link. You are that one that links that those backs to that attacking group, depending on your midfield formation, whether it's the whether it's the eight or the ten or the seven or the nine or the eleven. And then yes, you still have to be very very good in the air. You are that you are that shield, right? So, in this in this clip, you'll you'll watch here. The outside back gets the ball. The defensive center midfield pulls away just a little bit, creates a space, and hold it right there, Charles. If you go back five seconds. Yeah. So right there. The attacking midfielder, the eight, loses the ball. But if you watch this number six, read this play. He starts his transition before this ball is played. He closes the ground, steps in and wins the tackle, but this is the best. He starts the counterattack, realizes the goalkeeper is off of his line and finishes it from 45 yards out. Like what more could you ask from a defensive midfielder to close ground, create a counter, and then have that type of intelligence to finish a goal. So that, that probably maybe should be number one on his, on his playlist as he sends yeah. it out because it displays all those really unique characteristics that define a defensive center, center midfielder.